bitch. And basically what it is, it's a title installer slash file browser. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, it's a really great program. Uh, I actually found out about this on YouTube. There's a channel called Monsville USA. The guy just put it, uh, the video out a couple days ago and I'm, I'm glad I looked at it because yeah, like I said, it's a really great program. He also mentioned that um, is, if there's anyone out there familiar with the 3DS, that it's something like FBI, um, which installs CIA files. So I, I'm not familiar with the 3DS, uh, so I, don't, I wouldn't know what he was talking about, but yeah. <clears throat> so let's go on over, I'll show you his channel, guys. This is him right here, guys. <clears throat> Modsville USA, really cool guy. Got all kinds of great videos here uh, on different things, not only the Switch, but other things like the PS4 and stuff like that. So uh, come over here, guys, if you like his channel, come over here and hit that subscribe button and the buzzer, make him happy, guys. Make him all jolly and fuzzy inside, or whatever you wanna call it. And um, he's already surpassed me in subscribers, uh, so I'm a little jealous about that. <laughs> but hey, you know, whatever. <clears throat> he's a good guy, he deserves it, right? So uh, let's go on over to um, uh, the download site here, guys. Uh, this is where you'll download some things. Uh, go over here to assets, pull that up. And you have the option of three things to download. I've downloaded all of them. Uh, pretty much the NRO file is uh, basically, um, <clears throat> this is where you can boot up the gold leaf from your home, I guess the homebrew menu or, or or was that the Wii I'm talking about? Uh, I get, I'm getting the Wii and the Switch mixed up here. I guess the homebrew menu. Let's go with that. I think the homebrew channel is the Wii. Yeah, uh, but yeah. The NRO file is to boot Gold Leaf from the homebrew menu. Uh, the NSP file, of course, uh, can be installed and you can install like a channel, uh, something like the Wii, right? When you install your NSP file, when you install a game from the eShop, you know, you can actually see it on the Switch menu you can actually um, boot it up from there. This is the PC version, guys, and I'll be going over these two right here. I'll be installing this and going over this, and I'll actually install a game using Gold Leaf on the Switch and actually installing a game uh, from your computer using Gold Tree, okay? So, that's that. Um, I've actually, if they ever get rid of this site, guys, I've got a link to the uh, Mediafire site right here, which has all three of them here and you'd be good to go there. It's only 11 megabytes. All right, so let's open this bad boy up right here, guys, and we'll see what is inside. Mm, all right. Okay. All right, so there's the files there, guys. The ones that I'm gonna be concentrating on is this one. Uh, what I'm gonna do first, guys, is um, I'm going to put this NSP file on my Switch, right? And I'm going to put one, I got two games up here, guys, uh, Rygar and Poolstar. So what I'm going to do, let's move this over here, all right, and uh, let's pull, this is my Switch right here, Switch SD card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this, guys, and I'm going to open up my SXOS. Ah. And I'm gonna paste that right in there because I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my SXOS to install the Gold Leaf, and then I'm gonna uh, boot up Gold Leaf to install the game. And you don't have to put this game in any certain folder or anything, guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this bad boy. I'm just gonna place it right on the root right here. I'm just gonna place it right there in the root. <clears throat> Just like that right there all right so we're done with this guys and we're not done with this right yet okay um, I actually need to uh, extract this right here all right so this is this is the gold tree right here extension file and all that good stuff so we're gonna come back to this guys I'm gonna hop over hop on over and we're gonna uh, Mount the switch on the dock, and we're gonna look at it on TV that way. That way, it's more clear to you, and all that good stuff. All right, so let's head on over there, guys, and I'll see you in a sec. All right.
Okay guys, so here we are. We're at the switch now and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down here to album and we're going to um, actually just install gold leaf from here, all right? So there's gold leaf right there. Let's go ahead and we'll install it. Hold on one second. Let it do its thing. There we go. Okay. We'll hit OK and then we'll go back out of it, guys. Okay, and there we go. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and boot into Gold Leaf, guys, and then um, and we'll we'll browse for that NSP file, the Rygar. And we'll look, we'll actually install it with Gold Leaf, and I even actually show you that it runs. Okay. <clears throat> it's acting a little slow. So all good. Okay, so this is Gold Leaf, guys. Uh, here are all of our great options. Uh, we can browse the SD card, uh, browse system NAN. Uh, you even have the USB installation via Gold Tree. Now that that's the application that's on the PC. Uh, it's something like Tenfold, uh, but it's uh, I think it's a little better. Yeah, title management, ticket management, uh, CFW configuration, console information, and then about Gold Leaf. Uh, console information that gives you all your uh, uh, stats on uh, your uh, partitions and stuff like that. Um, how many gigs free you got? How many? How much you've used? And uh, I think some of this right here. I know for a fact that the man system partition is wrong because for some reason, guys, if I go, if if I just boot. SXOS custom firmware with my with my system man it does not show it only, it only shows um, it shows like 23 point something gigs free uh, but if I go to my uh, my emu nan on my SD card then it actually shows that I only have three gigs left so I actually copied that emu nan from my system man over to the SD card and I guess every time I boot into that it's showing that it thinks it's still on the uh, system man or something like that so I'll be I'll end up um, deleting this emu nan and starting fresh and, and you know and creating it directly to the SD card all right so how to get how do I get out of this okay there you go uh, CFW configuration you got those there guys you can go into and blah blah, blah or whatever and ticket management um, I really wouldn't mess with anything in here um, I really wouldn't um, <clears throat> this, this is something like it kind of reminds me of my phone I, I've got a rooted phone and it this is kind of like gold leaf is allowing like root access to different files you wouldn't normally be able to get you know access to it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of crazy title management you can actually go into here guys and you can actually uh, delete games or whatever like that you know what I'm saying <clears throat> it's pretty cool and of course went through that already so let's let's go ahead and we'll browse the sys oh wait a minute I'm gonna browse the system man uh, yeah, you have different things here guys NAN system NAN safe NAN system here I guess this is the NAN you do not want to come in here and mess with anything unless you know exactly what you're doing Because you will screw something up guys uh, as for me. I'm staying the heck out of here <laughs> I'm just gonna browse the SD card. All right, so let's go, let's browse the SD card guys and let's find that NSP file uh, of Rygar um, It should be in here somewhere Where are you at? Where are you at? I know you in here. 
doggone you. There it is right there. Uh, you, I can simply hit the A button, guys, and that will bring up different options here to install, install and delete, copy, delete, and cancel. So what we're going to do, we're, we're just going to install it, guys. And then um, install location, SD card, or console memory. We're going to go with the SD card, of course. And ignore required firmware version that now uh, on past video as you as you've seen with the tenfold uh, video guys um, this tenfold actually had this option also but we're not going to ignore the firmware version on this one because I know I'm at a firmware uh, high enough where you know it's not gonna bother with that so we're gonna hit no and now there you go I guess it shows all kinds of uh, it shows you the title key and all that good stuff, which is pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and install it. And that's it. I'm going to hit the home button real quick, guys. There it is right there. Let's close out our gold leaf here and we'll try to boot this uh, gang Rygar here up and see if it plays. And there you go. Plays just fine, guys. There we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go back over to the computer, guys, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how Gold Tree works, uh, how you can actually install NSP files from the computer with your uh, switch hooked up to the uh, computer here. So let's head on over back to the computer and we'll check that out, all right? Cool, man. All right. All right, guys, uh, so now what we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna go into this other program right here. It's called Gold Tree, is what it is. Um, and what this is gonna allow you to do is, is take this NSP file and actually uh, install it on your Nintendo Switch with your Nintendo Switch hooked up to your computer. So <clears throat> it's something like uh, Tenfold, but the guys before before you boot up gold tree right here guys make sure that you go into gold leaf on your nintendo switch first we're gonna, that's what we're going to do we're going to go into gold leaf here all right wait until it boots up okay so here we are with the options uh, what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna we're gonna go down to where it says USB installation via gold tree now the gold tree is this uh, uh, program right here on the computer all right uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna go uh, hit the A button go into it and now hook your Nintendo switch up to your computer Okay, as you can see, uh, USB connection was detected on the Nintendo Switch, and now we can actually come over here to Gold Tree and just double click on it. And that will automate, as you can see right here, attempting to connect. Uh, we are connected, uh, the connection was established, and so now we, we can uh, browse for our, our file right here. And so it's on the desktop. So let's mosey on down guys and there it is right there so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on that and we're gonna hit open and as you can see on the Nintendo switch here now we have USB install confirmation um, as you can see also uh, the selected NSP via GoTree was the Neo Geo full star and now we have the option to install which we're gonna install it so we're gonna go ahead and hit the A button and now we're confronted with these options which we were uh, via the switch uh, earlier and we will install to the SD card and are we going to ignore the required firmware version uh, no not on this one because I know my firmware version is high enough for this game so we'll, we're just going to hit no and just let it install
okay and that's it guys and let's go on over and there's our game right there and we'll we'll get out of uh, gold leaf and we'll boot up pull star and see what happens And there we go, guys. <clears throat> we have a fully functional uh, game now. Cool. So that, that's how that's how Gold Leaf works, guys. And Gold Tree, uh, it's really really helpful program. It really is. So I uh, hope this helped you guys out. I know Mozgo USA. He had a problem connecting with uh, Gold Tree here, uh, but I, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what he was doing wrong. Maybe he didn't boot into it right on the switch first. I don't know. But that's how you do it. And uh, I hope it helps you guys out. And thanks for watching, guys. And I hope to see you guys on the next video or tutorial. Uh, well, video tutorial or, um, or let's play or whatever I got going on, guys. So <clears throat> y'all have a good one. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.